Well, a woman's right to access abortion services is a divisive issue in this year's US presidential election. A ban on terminating a pregnancy past six weeks when most women are not aware they're expecting has now taken effect in Florida. The limit was 15 weeks and the change means abortion access is almost non-existent across the southern states. Women will have to travel as far as Virginia or New York for services. The abortion ban in general, like having it be illegal in the first place is bad for women, not only women, but young people in the coming generations, because it's like they're not even taking us into consideration. Having an abortion ban in Florida, especially when access to health care is already so hard here, just makes it a lot worse. Florida had been a refuge for abortion seekers from states such as Alabama and Georgia after the US Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in 2022, allowing statewide bans to be introduced. Physicians are frustrated and say women are now being denied an essential service. We are having patients who are six weeks, four days pregnant, six weeks, three days pregnant, and we are telling them we can't help them. And I have spent my life and my career doing this, and I have the training to do this and I have people who do not have the training or the expertise or the knowledge to do this telling me that I can't and more importantly telling women that their reproductive freedoms and their bodily autonomy don't matter and what matters is their political aims by bad actors. There are about 50 abortion clinics operating in Florida. Of the 84,000 procedures carried out in the state last year, 7,700 of them were for residents from interstate. Advocates are hoping abortion rights can be enshrined in constitutions in Florida and other states when voters go to the polls in November. Meanwhile, pro-life campaigners are welcoming the latest ban, calling it a victory for unborn children. The six-week ban, the heartbeat bill, as it's been called, is, is fantastic. I mean, it got bipartisan support. A lot of Democrats supported it here in Texas. We have a record number of medical resources for women and a surplus. The birth rate went up in Texas. Um, and what will happen, you shouldn't worry, and many people shouldn't worry, because we've seen it in other states. The sun comes up the next day after a six-week abortion ban or an all-out abortion ban. In Arizona, the Democratic governor, Katie Hobbs, has signed a bill to repeal a Civil War era near total ban on abortion. The state Supreme Court last month cleared the way for the ban to take effect, which prohibits terminations from the moment of conception unless the mother's life is in danger. Two Republican senators broke party ranks to side with Democrats to force the change. It'll be replaced by a law banning abortions in Arizona after 15 weeks with no exceptions. We are taking our anger and frustration straight to the ballot box this November and voting for reproductive freedom for all. And first and foremost, that includes flipping the Arizona House and flipping the Arizona Senate so we can protect abortion rights in the future. Arizona is a battleground state that could sway the presidential election. Donald Trump, who's in the running to return to the White House, has warned the issue could lead to Republican losses. He's avoided endorsing a federal ban, but has taken credit for nominating conservative justices to the Supreme Court that overturned Roe v. Wade. Democrats are hoping the issue of reproductive rights will galvanise the electorate to side with them. The states will determine by vote or legislation, or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. This is a fight for freedom, the fundamental freedom to make decisions about one's own body and not have their government tell them what they're supposed to do. Yeah.